Yo, what is up guys? It's Vane here, back again with another unboxing video for you guys. It's been a while. There's been a new device that just came out just a month ago. I'm a bit late, but the waiting list has been long. So here we are. Here's the package. As you can see, it's very thin. You might recognize what it is. I mean, of course you know what it is. You already saw it from the title of this video, right? So we're just gonna get straight into it. And it opens up like a book. Here we have, this is how you protect your new smartphone and whatever in general. This doesn't interest you. And then last but not least, <laughs> there we go. We have this bad boy. The iPhone 15 Pro Max. Pretty straightforward. Nothing really special about it. There's this new wallpaper on the front. I went for the natural titanium version. At first, I actually ordered the titanium blue color, but then I realized that I made a mistake after watching MKBHD's video of him scratching the phone very easily. And of course, shout out to Jerry Rig Everything, who actually tested the new iPhone. And it turns out that they are very scratchable. So that's why I went for the natural titanium color. Enough talking. And here we have the bad boy, the 15 Pro Max. I'm just gonna lift it out. I'm gonna set it aside here and uh, check out the new USB-C braided cable. Finally, we have USB. I'm from Germany, so yeah, this is a must from 2023, I guess, for the new iPhones to have Type-C ports. And here we have the new braided cable, which I'm going to have to undo because I don't have another Type-C cable. And uh, here we go. All right, that was, that was a bit dissatisfying. Um, but yeah, just pretty normal braided cable. Check out the last bit in the box, or well, the last thing in the box. Ejector card tool, Apple sticker, of course. Let's hear this amazing whooshing sound. Well, it wasn't really there, but you get the point. The 15 Pro Max. Oh man, the feeling of a brand new phone. Look at that, look at, look at the reflection outside and everything. It's a bit cloudy and gloomy today and it's raining. It's a good day because we have the new iPhone 15 Pro Max and it feels not so heavy compared to my 13 Pro that I'm recording on right now because of the new titanium aluminum frame. The fingerprints, are we seeing them? That is absolutely terrible. We're gonna check out the new button, which is not a mute switch anymore, but a dedicated action button that we can use to mute or launch the camera or do a shortcut or launch an app the usb type c port i mean not really exciting but we can get much fast transfer speeds right and then you have the button right here the normal usual power button on the side and the cameras this year we have sort of an upgrade you know we do have that periscope camera it's a bigger sensor i mean without further ado let's try to warm it up a little bit and let me skip to when the phone is actually warm all right, the phone should be, I mean, it is a little bit warmer and it's full of fingerprints. Look at that. It's already dirty. Let's uh, try to turn it on. Hello, says Apple. We're going to use English for now. Appearance, default, medium, large. Quick start. It's preferred languages, English, German, keyboards, English, German, emoji. That's pretty much it. Then we have my Wi-Fi, which I'm going to connect right now. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. We're just going to wait a little bit. And I don't, I'm not sure if you have noticed, but look at the time right there. It's 4.59 a.m., which doesn't make any sense. Data and privacy. Continue. Set up for a child in my family. I don't know who would buy a brand new iPhone 14, 15 Pro Max for their child that is 15 or younger. But hey, you can do that. Set up for myself. Face ID, we're going to set up later, like I said. Pasco, we're going to set up later again. And then we have the transfer, which we're going to do later again. And then the Apple ID, um, set up later in settings. Don't use, agree, um, only download automatically. I always like to check updates to see what are the release notes and so on. iMessage and FaceTime later as well. Location services, we can turn that on right now. Doesn't make much of a difference. Set up mobile service. You can transfer a phone number from a nearby iPhone or scan a QR code from your network provider. 
Uh, this is actually for my sim so i'm not going to do that right now like i said it's on my old phone we're going to set it up later and then we have screen time we can continue with that iphone analytics for now we're going to disable light dark i prefer dark all the time but as of right now we're going to set auto and see how it behaves silent mode you can toggle silent mode on or off check its status in, con in the control center so we have to swipe down from the control center and then we can mute it or unmute it or we can just set it up on our new action button action button press and hold to turn silent mode on or off you can also customize the action button to open camera turn on the torch or access a favorite iphone feature customize okay that's a very nice animation i'm not gonna lie silent mode focus camera torch voice memo magnifier shortcut and accessibility and no action at all i don't know who would use this but yeah as of right now we're gonna leave it on the silent mode iphone is ready to help in an emergency press and hold for emergency sos crash detection and emergency sos via satellite welcome to your new iphone here we are the 15 pro max so here's the silent mode it makes the taptic vibration to let you know that it's been muted or unmuted portraits and photo modes continue can you see that's like a, a prism when the light is being redirected or something like that i don't know what's the technical term of it 0 0.5 24 millimeter 28 millimeter 35 millimeter 2x 5x zoom and then all the way to 25x and there's also a little diagram here to show you where you actually are right so let's check which software is in there 1702 21 a 350 battery health and charging we are at 100 percent peak performance capability that is very good to see because my iphone 13 pro after a year and a half it's already at 86 percent which i'm very disappointed of charging optimization optimized battery charging 80 percent limit or none to reduce battery aging iphone learns from your daily charging routine so it can wait to finish charging past 80 percent until you need to use it so 80 percent limit your iPhone will charge only to about 80% and none, it just goes to 100. So we're going to leave it to optimize battery charging because that's what I was using before. But I will test out the 80% limit as well. That is the new iPhone 15 Pro Max, natural titanium, 256 gigabytes. I'm going to make a review if you guys need it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new because I would like to grow my channel. And it's very hard to grow your channel these days, so that would be very much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.